हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मेरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे यू गॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट मल्टी स्लोप बियरिंग इन द स्टर्न ट्यूब लुब्रिकेशन सिस्टम व्हाट इज अ मल्टी स्लोप व्हाट इज अ सिंगल स्लोप व्हाई दिस मल्टी स्लोप कॉन्सेप्ट केम आफ्टर दैट हाउ द लुब्रिकेशन इज डन इन द मल्टी स्लोप वेन डज एन एज लोडिंग ऑकर इन अ सिंगल स्लोप बियरिंग एंड वाई द मल्टी स्लोप कॉन्सेप्ट केम ओके where the hydraulic lubrication is been optimized how it is optimized that all thing we learn in this video so please tune till last i guarantee you will learn a lot so before starting the video friend i want to inform that the marine engineering hub have started their membership in which you will get exclusive perks of mu class 1 and mu class 2 so please feel free to join the fees is very nominal for all of us can join and learn a lot and after that i request all of you new viewer please to subscribe and please do share the sharing is must so that other person or other people can also get benefited from that so let's start the today video what is a multi slop bearing so first thing you should know this multi slop bearing is talking about the improvement in design of the stern tube lubrication system The stern tube lubrication system is been improved from the single slope to the multi slope. Okay, so first, before understanding the multi slope, we need to understand what problem was happening in the single slope. So, what is the single slope bearing disadvantage? So, as you can see, this is the aft stern tube bearing. Okay, this is the propeller shaft. This is the engine side, and this is the propeller side. For a clear thing, so this is the shaft. this is the engine side this is the propeller side and this is the shaft and this is the bearing okay so now the single slope propeller at one end cantilever action so what is a cantilever it means that if the one end is suspended by a huge weight with what huge weight huge weight is the propeller weight because of which the shaft tend to bend at the end is edge loading of the bearing so what do i mean by that so basically what is happening this side is the propeller side this side is the engine side okay the propeller is very huge in nature tend to have a cantilever action because of its huge weight so what happened the shaft tend to get bent like this from the center line which causes the bearing this is our stern tube bearing the propeller shaft to contact at the edge with the bearing this is called edge loading of the bearing so what is the edge loading of the bearing the shaft is getting bent at the edge of the at the edge because of the cantilever action of the huge propeller weight due to which the aft part of the propeller shaft is getting contact with the aft stern tube bearing which is called edge loading this propeller weight as well as the hydrodynamic forces and the bending moment causes the angular misalignment of the shaft at the aft bearing so if anybody asks you that what are the reason which has caused this thing so first is the propeller weight the second is the hydrodynamic force and third is the bending moment so propeller weight hydrodynamic force and the bending moment cause the misalignment of the shaft at the aft bearing which causes the bearing to contact so what i mean to say that because of this huge propeller weight the shaft is getting bent like this as it is getting bent so what is happening the whole thing is getting bent and if suppose this is the if this is the bearing area the shaft is getting contacting here okay so wait i will show you so what is happening this shaft is getting contact here so this area the edge contact of the bearing is occurring which is called edge loading okay so this is a problem of a single slope bearing to overcome this problem the manufacturer has come up with a multi slope so what is a multi slope so first see the single slope so this is a single slope here you can see the slope there is a slope of a single from forward to end okay and here as you can see this double slope from here to here 
from here to here one slope is there and from here to here this is the another slope so there are two slope is provided so as i have told you earlier as i have told you that this area this area is getting contacted this is the propeller side this is the engine side so this area is getting contacted so what they have done they have made a transition and then made a slope lower causing to avoid even if even if the shaft is getting bent in that case will not contact there will be some amount of oil in between to avoid the contact with the bearing surface so this is a multi slope okay now the hydrodynamic lubrication mainly influenced by rpm shaft diameter oil viscosity bearing load and weight contact area so if you want to have a clear more picture so you can see this is the main slope okay and this is the aft slope so they are two slope but in earlier there is they used to have only one slope but now they have two slope one is the main slope and one is the aft slope the aft slope is provided because to reduce the edge contact of the propeller shaft to prevent edge loading of the bearing so when does an edge loading occur in a single slope bearing most predominant hydrodynamic propeller load are typically caused by running ahead under maximum mcr so when the propeller are run at the maximum mcr and in the extreme maneuvering condition at that time the edge loading occur okay so this edge loading occur when if anybody asks you to fun running ahead in maximum mpr and extreme maneuver condition the edge loading of the propeller occur in a single slope bearing so to avoid that we have come up with the multi slope the hydrodynamic propeller acting downward is maximum on a reduced area because of which the multi slope concept came now let's see how the multi slope is optimized for lubrication so multi slope can be optimized for different hydrodynamic load condition how because as because of this transition there will be oil in different load condition and hence it prevent the bearing contact with a propeller shaft single slope can be optimized for only one hydrodynamic lo loading condition but multi slope can be optimized for different so that is the advantage now knuckle point identified is basically this point this point this point is called knuckle point how it is identified basically it is d by 3 means d by 3 okay and l by 4 from r l by 4 length okay and d by 3 diameter so from the r edge the knuckle point is identified from which the transition of the slope is provided so that is how the multi slope bearing is different from the single slope so multi slope bearing have advantage of getting optimized for different hydrodynamic load condition where at single slope can only be optimized for one hydrodynamic load condition and the knuckle point for the transition is basically made l by 4 from the aft edge and d by 3 okay so friend in today video we have learned that what is a multi slope bearing when does the edge loading occur how the edge loading occur and how we have overcome the problem if you think that i have given something valuable to you please do share my request to all of you please do share and please do subscribe please 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 do subscribe even one subscriber is very important to us and please look out and please watch have a membership for one month only see if you are having getting the advantage or not and if you if you think you are getting advantage please continue it thank you friend